Hello, my favorite kindergartners. It is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. It is a rainy day at my house. What's the weather like at your house? It's cloudy, it's kind of cold, so I'm cozied up today, and um, I'm ready for a fun day of math, because it doesn't matter what the weather's like, there's always time for math right? It's always a good day for math. So today we'll start off with our fluency uh, warm-up. We'll do our application problem. We will get into our main lesson, which is about the number eight, and we will talk about what we learned, and then you'll do your active checkup for the day. So same as always. Let me share my screen with you, and we'll get started. Today, if you have something to write with and write on, and if you have something to count with, that would be Great, we will be using some different tools to count today and we will be practicing writing number eight. So those would be some fun things to have if you don't have those things, so totally okay, just follow along with me. All right, here we go. Oh, so our goal, we're going to arrange and strategize, I mean think about how to count beans in a circular um, array and in a scattered configuration. And we will also work on writing the number eight. And it's a fun number to write, one of my favorite numbers to write. All right, let's start off with a game called Five Group Peekaboo, or Five Frame Flash. So with this game, what I will do is show you um, this yellow rectangle, and then behind it is a five group, kind of like this. So I'm gonna flash it to you really quick and then put it back, and, and then put the yellow um, thing back, the yellow rectangle back. And um, I want you to quickly subitize with your eyes how many dots there are, and then we'll check back and see if we were right, okay? All right, here we go. This might be a little tricky to do on my computer, but well, we can get it done, right? Okay, ready? I was quick. I was really quick. How many were there? If you guessed five, you were right. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Let's do three more like this. Ready? Peek-a-boo! I was quick again. Did you see five and one? That makes six. Five and one, six. Good, two more. <laughs> Did you see five and two? Five, six, seven. Remember we can count on. Five, six, seven. Nice. One more. <laughs> Did you see five and one? Six. Nice work. That one was really quick, huh? That last one I did was super quick. All right. Good work. I think we did all the ones I said I was gonna do, we were gonna do, right? Okay, now let's get into our application problem. Ooh, I see some blocks down here. My son likes to play with these. Let's make two stacks of blocks with four each. Okay, so count with me. If you have something to count with, you can use it now too. One, two, three, Four. Hey, what letters do you see on this, these blocks? I see A and X and O up top, or maybe that's a zero. Hard to tell, right? Definitely A and X though. Okay, let's double check that we counted four because I got distracted with the letters. One, two, three, four. Yep, okay, one more stack. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we know we put four in this stack, so let's count on to see how many blocks we have total. Four, five, six, seven, eight, our number of the day. All right, let's get into talking all about the number eight. So if you have something to count with, get it out and do it with me. If not, just follow along. Let's take five beans out of our bag. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, and 
five. Okay. How many are left inside our back? One, two, three, four, five. Five and five. That makes ten. Okay. Now let's do a counting path and count these again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you are counting and I'm counting and a friend is counting and your mom's counting and your dad's counting, are we going to have the same counting path? No, probably not. And that's okay. As long as you know where you started and where you stopped, it doesn't matter what path you follow. You just have to be sure that you start at the same spot and end at the same spot. And you don't keep making that counting mistake like I sometimes do, huh? Okay, let's put our beans around the edge of the circle now. All right, now, do we still have five? Yeah, we still have five, but our magic number for the day is eight, not five. So let's add some more until we get to eight. I'm gonna move all my beans over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm gonna put some more over here until we get to eight. So let's count down. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't need these two, right? Because I already got to eight. So we have five, six, seven, eight. Let's count one more time. Let's start here and we'll stop here. One, two, three. Wait, 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 that wouldn't be a good counting spot, right? I mean, let's start here and stop here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. There we go. That's a good counting path. Okay. Now let's practice writing the number eight. If you have something to write with and write on, go ahead and get that out now. If you don't, that's okay. Then just write in the air with me. This is one of my favorite numbers to write. Make an S and do not stop. Go right back up and an eight you've got. <laughs> I like that one. Let's do it in the air again. Make an S and do not stop. Go right back up and an eight you got. <laughs> that is a good one. Or you can say, make an S, but do not wait. Go back to the top and that's an eight. <laughs> Either one is a fun poem to say. I say both sometimes, so you might hear me say both. All right, let's practice writing it now. Make an S. Make an S. This is an S. That's why we say that. And do not wait. Go back to the top. That's an eight. Let's try again. Make an S and do not wait. Go back to the top. That's an eight. Let's do it two more times here on these lines. Let's, we'll say the other poem here in case you like that one better. Make an S and do not stop. Go right back up and an eight you've got. Make an S and do not stop. Go right back up and an S and an eight you got. We don't need two S's. They're kind of like an S backwards though, isn't it? Good one. I like this eight. If you like to make circles better like this, that's okay with me, but it's more efficient and that means it's quicker to make an S and not lift your pencil and just go right back up. That's more efficient. If you have to make two dots like that or two O's like that, it takes a little bit longer. This is nice and quick. All right, except you don't want that little guy hanging out over, huh? All right, let's get into our problem set for the day. I think that you guys are gonna do a fabulous job with this one. Okay, so for lesson 22, you're gonna count the shapes and choose how many. Count, choose, count, choose. And that is it. We're working on six, seven, and eight today. All right, whoa, we did a lot of work with the number eight today. We discovered hidden partners of five and three. That was exciting. We'll keep on going next um, math lesson. And 
if you, t if you uh, wrote some eights on a piece of paper, send them in to me or your teacher. We will love to see them. Keep practicing the numbers six and seven and eight. Write all your numbers one through eight. Um, it is so great to practice writing numbers because you're going to write them a lot in kindergarten and first grade and second grade. And I still write numbers a lot today too, as an adult. So keep on practicing those numbers. All right, great job, kiddos. I will see you next math lesson. Adios.